So for this episode, I'm going to show my rock collection. And no, I don't mean actual rocks. I mean my elite rock collection. And I turned off the fan so you don't hear like a weird background noise. Unless you're hearing Spooky scratching right now because he's kind of just scratching himself. And I decided to wear this shirt right here because I actually have a rock shirt. And for some reason, I just can't find it. So what better shirt than one that actually has him on it? So um, yeah. I'm going to show that and I'll get right into my collection. Now don't be mad at me, but the first Elite I want to show is actually not The Rock. It's his father, Rocky Johnson. Now the reason I want to show this off is because, I mean, well one is his dad, and two, this is the only figure he has. This is the only Elite figure. I don't think he has any other figure actually, but this is the only figure he has, and I'm glad to own it. Great. It's a good looking box and it's his first one so I decided to throw it in here with his son as just like a, a family thing I think I like that the first rock figure I want to show is his top picks figure and I think he has another one coming out soon but yeah I like this one and actually the shirt that he's wearing right now that's actually the shirt I have I don't have like the jersey, like the things on the side, but I have that shirt and I just can't find it. I don't know where it's at. So this is the first figure I want to show you. This is the top picks, has Rey Mysterio, has Undertaker, and uh, I like the eyebrow, you know, the eyebrow raise, you know, the, I can, I can do the eyebrow raise too, but yeah, it's a, it's a nice figure, especially the uh, face sculpt. As you'll see later, some of the face sculpts and some of the head sculpts are just, they're just a no-go. But yeah, this is the first one I want to show. The second one I want to show is his Series 81 figure. Now, I like these figures, but I like the older ones better. Like the one where he has like hair and all that stuff from his Attitude Era days. And I, I don't want to show my other hand because I've just been eating Hot Cheetos and my fingers are red. So that's the reason why I'm only using one hand right now. But uh, yeah, I mean, the shirt's kind of... Eh, I mean, it's kind of uh, bland. I guess it's like a workout shirt. I don't, well, okay, I was about to say, I don't know if he wore it, but he wore it here. I don't remember that, but, you know, it's kind of a bland shirt. You would think I'd have, like, a logo or something on it, but it doesn't. It is what it is, though. I think this is his most recent number series one. I might be wrong about that. He might have another one. I think I just looked it up. Um, he might have another one coming out, actually, but... Unless it was just another top picks, but I think this is the last number series one that he had. The next one I want to show is his Royal Rumble figure. I like this figure. I like like the box and everything. The only problem with it is I bought this from the same guy that I've been buying all the other ones from for a discount. And the reason why is because the box is in pretty bad condition. At one point, I just wanted it. I just wanted it and I got it. And I don't know like all this stuff on top. I don't know if that's supposed to be how the box looks or if that's just like dirt that doesn't come off because with it being in bad condition, it kind of makes me think that it was just kind of like thrown around um, and it's dirty. But of course, I don't want to clean it because I don't know what to clean it with. And I mean, why clean it anyways? It's it's a bad box. So uh, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a nice figure, but I just wish it wasn't messed up. I love the championship, though. I love that championship. And, I mean, it's a spinner one, too. I just realized that now. It's a spinner one. He looks great. He looks great. But, yeah, it, it's just a shame that the box is messed up. The next one I want to show you is his Hollywood figure. I like this figure. Um, I, I love this concept. This concept's just great. I already said it in the John Cena one, but this concept is just fantastic. <clears throat> and they actually came out with the second series not too long ago, and he's in the second series too. I'll show the picture, but he's the Scorpion King in that one, and it's it's so cool. I love this concept. But yeah, it's a, it's a neat figure. It's a great uh, rock figure. It's not great for like, you know, posing with the other wrestling figures. It's not really a wrestling figure. It is, but it's not. But, yeah, it, it's a great concept. I love this concept. So, the next figure I want to show is his Series 47B. 
I don't know what's up with the whole B thing. I don't I don't get that. Like they have a series forty seven and a series forty seven B. I hate that. But it's a nice figure. It's his like old timey figure. This is the type of ones I like more. Except the face sculpt is just not that great on this one. And I'm pretty sure they use the same trunk. Like I'm looking at it now. And I'm pretty sure they use the same trunks as uh, his Royal Rumble figure. And I don't know if it's because like he actually wore that on both nights. But look, you can see they're the same. They're the same figures or like the same uh, trunks. So that's, that's kind of weird to me. But it's it's a good figure i like how they like come up with like ring stuff in the background of the box i hate how it has this little thing i don't know how that happened uh there must have been tape there and either i peeled it off or somebody else peeled it off it's a good figure i like the back of it i don't really like this style of box though i think this style of box is kind of when i stopped collecting uh, a little bit because of the box mostly be because of money's sake but yeah, this box, is, it's just not a good box. I, I don't really like this box that much. The next one I want to show is his Attitude Era Elite. Great box. This is, this is a great box. They just came out with uh, more Attitude Era. I think it was either Attitude or Ruthless Aggression. I think it is actually Ruthless Aggression uh, ones. But it, it comes in the same uh, like art type of box. Not in the same style. But in the same art type. And I love it. it it's great. He looks great. And, I mean, the head sculpt's a little bit better than the last one. It's kind of the same, except for the eyebrows are a little more dark. But it looks great. Like, it's in a great box. The box looks amazing. And I, I like this one. I like this one a lot. I ordered this from the same guy I ordered everything from. So, um, you can expect most of this stuff uh, being ordered from him. And the next one is also ordered from him, which I'll show here in a second. So the next one is his Road to WrestleMania figure. And I like I I don't know. I just love these boxes. I love like the old type of box. Like the shape is just great. The shape's amazing. And it just makes them feel even better. And like look, look, I like I kinda like how simple it is, like right here. Just elite collection. It's not like fancy like the other ones, but this is just says elite collection. Toys R Us exclusive. Again, got this from that one guy. I also got the Kofi Kingston from him as well. So I will show that sometime. I don't know if I want to do like a Kofi Kingston video or a New Day video to show all the New Day ones I have. But yeah, great box. Great looking figure too. It's kind of, well, I don't know. It's actually kind of like the other ones. Now that I'm like looking at the face sculpt, kind of like the other ones. It just seems like they're kind of using the same face sculpt as... Uh, all the other ones kind of but i mean what can you do he kind of like looks the same a lot of the time but yeah great figure the next figure i want to show is a series 31 figure it's a good looking figure but i mean it can use some work like i don't know why the guitar is just weird to me i know he played like um, a song when he was facing john cena but i don't know the guitar is just weird it's like a weird accessory for The Rock. Like, why why that, of all things? This looks good, though. Looks good. Or was that... Actually, no, that was... Uh... I'm wrong. It says uh, 2013. So, or... Yeah, 2013. So, I'm wrong. I'm wrong. It wasn't against Sean Cena. But... Still... Don't... They shouldn't have put a guitar in there. It's kind of weird. But, I mean, it's other than that, it's a nice figure. I love the style of box. I do like the style of box. When I first started collecting this, the style of box that were on the shelves at the time. And they they just switched to, like, the new logo at this time. So, it's it's pretty decent. I, I, I just don't know why they gave them a guitar. The shades, okay. But the guitar, I don't know. I don't, I don't really like that. So, you remember in the last episode... When I showed that figure, like that Jeff Hardy figure, and I was like, man, this guy looks derpy. Like, well, I don't know why they made it, but I did say that I've seen worse figures. This is the one I'm talking about. Look at this. Great box, right? Great box. Love the style of box. You know, great picture, great everything. But look, look at this. Like, what the hell is that? That's not The Rock. Like, who is that? It looks like a guy named Diego or something like that. Like, what? 
uh, like what what were they doing? What were they doing? Like it looks nothing like him. And you can tell that like uh I don't know if the sunglasses are like removable, but I would suggest not removing them. Like th this should look this should be the uh Fast and Furious one right here. Um yeah, cuz like he looks like he's about to go street racing. Like he doesn't look like he's about to wrestle. I don't I don't know what they were doing with him. He looks like he's about to like walk into a store and rob the clerk. Like I don't I don't know what they were doing with this one. It's just not a good figure and like I mean the rest of it's okay, I guess, but I don't, like what were they doing with this head sculpts? It's it's weird. It's weird. But yeah, I'm about to go into the next one. So the next one I'm going to go over is the Ringside Exclusive. I have two of Ringside Exclusive ones. They made two rocks. But this is the first one. Look at that. Look at it. Like, ugh, it just looks good. Like the purple Intercontinental Championship looks great. This is uh, not, not definitely not the peak. No, this is like when he first started becoming the rock. And when he, when he started getting his push, like finally. Like, look at this. It, this is fantastic. This needs to be a poster. This needs to be a poster right here. It looks good. It looks so good. I love this figure. And, uh, I mean, there's a little crease on the neck. It kind of annoys me a little bit that there's a little crease there. But other than that, oh, it's, it's a fantastic figure. This is a fantastic, fantastic figure. I, I love this one. I love this one so much. It's, um, I can't say it's my favorite, but... Um, yeah, actually, I lied. I think this is the only ringside collectible. The other one's not a ringside exclusive, but it looks like a ringside exclusive, and that's why I said that. Uh, that's why I got it mixed up, but I'll show you in a second. I think that one's my favorite because of how unique it is. But yeah, this one's a great figure. I, I love the box of this one. Like They just did everything right with this. And the last figure I want to show you, my favorite figure of his, honestly, it looks like a ringside exclusive. I don't know what type of exclusive it is. I know it's an exclusive, but I don't know. Like, look at this. His Rocky Mayavia figure. I don't even remember where I got this from, but I'm so stoked to have this. It's in great condition. This is easily my favorite one because just, like, how unique it is. Like, I never thought they would make a Rocky Mayavia figure. And for those of you who don't know wrestling... This is his gimmick before he was The Rock. So he came out. He was like John Cena. He came out. He was smiling. He was happy. He was good. He was always the good guy. He won the Intercontinental Championship. I think this is like he came out looking like this when he first debuted. And actually, like his his uh, heel turn was because they hated his good guy gimmick so much that they were chanting, Die, Rocky, Die, because they hated the fact that he would win all the time and he just came out with this like, like, no, like, do bad attitude, you know, do good attitude. I'm always the good guy. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll always fight. You know, I will always pick myself up. They hated that. They hated that shit. Especially with the time of Stone Cold Steve Austin, who was also a good guy, but he was whipping ass at the time. And I think he was a bad guy at that time, though. But, yeah, like, it's, like, look at this, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Like, you would never see this guy and be like, yeah, this guy's going to be one of the biggest wrestlers of all time and be the highest grossing movie star of all time. Like, I don't know. I, I really like this one. I love that they did this. It's just funny. To, it, it's funny. It makes me laugh. But, yeah, that that's, that's my entire rock collection. Funny enough, before this video... I was actually looking through all my rock collection, like all my rock figures, and I think I have most of them. And it's funny because I don't go out and like exclusively look for the rock. I don't go out and just look for the rock and just find him and be like, oh, I want the rock, I want the rock. Uh, it just happened. Like I, I'm looking at all these. I, ha I have a lot of rock figures, and it just happened. And I think there are, there's some more I'm going to show you uh, that... Of course, I don't have, but it's not a lot. Like, I have more than I don't have. And that's not including... That might be including the double packs, too. 
he has a lot of double backs. He has one with Farouk, um, I believe, one with Mankind, and I think one with Triple H, I think. He has three of them, I'm pretty sure, or it's John Cena. And, uh, but I'm not going to show those because I don't, I don't do the double packs, uh, the double pack elites. But I'll show the ones I don't have that are the series and the elites themselves, just like the single ones. And then I'll show those. But, yeah, it's just crazy. Like, I, I have a lot of rock figures. And I'm about to show you the ones I don't have now. The first one I don't have, which I think is the only one that I don't have out of the numbered series rocks, is uh, his series 69. You know, haha, <laughs> funny number, shut up. But, uh, yeah, that's the only one I don't have. I like the lay it the smack it down shirt that he has on and it's a collector's edition um the collector's editions they were they were a part of the series they just weren't numbered so they're kind of like the ones that are like walmart exclusives i have a Liv morgan and a page one i believe but uh those were ones that didn't have the number on them but they were numbered and um i thought it was cool i mean smackdown it's a smackdown figure it has like the smackdown colors on it which is cool. I mean, it makes sense as a SmackDown figure because if, uh, again, if you don't know, uh, he's actually the one that made the word SmackDown. Like, he, he's the reason why SmackDown Live exists. He's the reason why SmackDown period exists. Like, it's even in the dictionary now. And he's the one that came up with it. And it's it's a great word. So it makes sense that it's a SmackDown uh, series. Like, and, a, and it's a collector's edition. The next one I don't have is his Ghostbuster series figure. And at the mall in San Antonio, I was planning on getting them all because it comes with The Rock. I'm pretty sure it comes with The Rock, John Cena, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Shawn Michaels as the Ghostbusters. And then The Undertaker is the Ghost. And I think it's really cool. They they even come with like the uh, Proton Packs. It, it's just sweet like it, it looks pretty good it just kind of reminds me of the hollywood series a little bit too much where it's not really wrestling figures but the boxes look really cool I, I love the boxes they're sick but i think i think it's a good series to make it's just not really wrestling figures to me but yeah that's that's another one i don't have i don't have any of those series sadly the next one i don't have is his greatest hit series and I'm pretty sure it's because it's a, mo it's like the most recent one, and I haven't been going out trying to collect recently, but I don't have the one. Actually, I do have that one, and you know why I have that one? It's the same thing as this. It's literally the same figure. They didn't change anything except for putting the glasses on his face. Why? I don't know. They do that a lot. I actually have a sh two Shawn Michael figures that uh, a most recent one and like like a really uh, like one from years ago and they both had the same head sculpt like they just do that a lot it's obviously the same like the picture is pretty much the same like they didn't change anything they just threw it in a different box and are selling it that's kind of what they do with uh, stuff like this like the greatest hits um, I'm pretty sure they probably did that because it was the greatest hits of the figures line. They do that with the uh, top picks too. Where it'll say like the top picks 2022. And it'll be a Drew McIntyre that was in a series like, let's say like 80. And then all of a sudden they have the greatest hits. And they'll have that same Drew McIntyre in there. Because it's the greatest hits of the year or something like that. I don't know why they do that. They just want more money I guess. But yeah, I mean, I, I do have the figure pretty much. I just don't have the box. I don't have the style of box that it's in. But, yeah, that's another one I don't have. I lied again. I'm a big fat liar. Uh, I lied in the last video, and I lied in this video too. Um, it's because I numbered them differently in my... Or I numbered the pictures differently. I worded them differently, so one came before the other one. And, actually, this is another number series I don't have. And it's series 22. I like this figure a lot. Like I, I like it because he has the um, he has the most current championship like at the time, and I, I like it. I like the look of it. It's a great box. It looks great. He it looks a, it looks like a great championship, and I don't I don't know what they what the deal is with like not changing the trunks. I think it is a bit different, but the only difference is it's golden and not silver, and I don't like that. I think they need to change the trunks. Like stop using the rock trunks like just stop using it like use something else 
I don't know if that's all he wore throughout his entire career, but I doubt it. And they just need to stop using that. But other than that, it's a great, it's a great uh, figure with a great look and championship. The next rock figure I don't have is his then, now, and forever figure. And it's a great looking figure. Um, I like the box, like the silver. I love the silver box. And they actually finally used a different head sculpt where he looks happy. He looks great. It's not like the shitty head sculpt. It's not like the looking up, like big nose head sculpt. But uh, it's a different type of head sculpt, and I like that. And the chair, the chair just looks phenomenal. It's it's a just a little replica of the chair at the time. I think I'm like looking at it right now, and I'm pretty sure that was a. I can't tell. I forget if that's the WrestleMania um, chair, but I love it. It looks great. It looks great. Like as a toy version. It looks fantastic, and I think they did a really good job on that. I kind of wish I had the figure, but again, I don't really like the style of the box. I love this box. I love the colors, but I don't really like the style. So I'm not, like, too hurt about it. But, um, yeah, I, I would want it just for the chair, honestly. The last figure I don't have of his is the Hollywood Series 2 of The Rock. And it's his time in The Scorpion King great looking figure and I love one thing I love that they do with the pictures in the boxes sometimes is they make it look like cartoony I don't know I don't know why it looks it looks better I'm like looking at some of these right now and like stuff like this like I love this like you can tell it's a real picture but they made it look a little bit cartoony and I love that style I love when they do that stuff um, it makes it makes it look more like, I don't, I don't know. I can't, I can't explain why it looks better like that. But I really like that. It, look, it makes it look more like glossy, makes it pop out more a little bit, and I, I like that stuff. I really do. And uh, yeah, so that's all of them. I don't have. I think the next one I want to do is Alexa Bliss. I kind of want to throw a female in there next. I don't want to like get people mad with like diversity, but. Um, so, yeah, that's all the rocks, and I can't believe how many I have compared to how many I don't. I have a lot of rock figures, and like I said before, it's not something I go out and look for. He's not my favorite. You know, AJ Styles is my favorite, actually, but he's not my favorite. But I guess it's just, like, the fact that they have so many rock figures that I just have so many of them. And, uh, yeah, so the next video is going to be about Alexa Bliss. I don't have Alexa Bliss shirt, you know, um... I'll probably wear one of my Raw SmackDown shirts, just one of my uh, other wrestling shirts. But yeah, I hope you like this shirt. Fantastic shirt. I love this shirt. I also have another one of a John Cena. And it has like Paris Hilton and like some other woman. And uh, they're nuns. And it just says Slipknot on it. I love the randomness of it. And plus, I love all this stuff. Like, I love wrestling. I love video games. And I love corn. I don't really care too much about uh, Star Wars, but... Yeah, Korn's like my favorite band, you know, The Rock and then Scorpion, Mortal Kombat. It's just random. I love it. And uh, yeah, so the next one's going to be Alexa Bliss. Thank you for watching. JC Sanchez, and I am out.